Hi there everybody, my name is Jonathan. Today what I'm going to show you how to do is change your system icons. As you can see, my disk icon is the basic disk icon, not very eye-catching. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to this website that's going to pop up. This website is called Iconspedia. What you do is you scroll down, you can go, ooh, pretty nice icons here, and they're all free, that's a great thing. So what you're going to do is, I want to look for specific icons. You go down, you go to the left hand sidebar, you click Okay, I want media icons. Brings down another menu. Multimedia. Click that. Brings you to this new page. Wow, those are nice icons. Okay, I'm going to have my CD drive icon as the green CD. So you click it, and you're going to download this CD, or you can pick the many others that are also down here. I, don't, I want the green CD. You click it, you download the PNG as 48 by 48. It downloads, save it, cool, you got it. Minimize that window. Now you have it on your desktop as CD green underscore 48.png. We need to turn that into an Ickens file. So what you need to do is go to my website, www.jpfilms.site88.net, go to the Free Files tab, and download a program called Image to Ickens. It is spelled Ickens. Double click it. It's this simple little window, tiny little window. And what you do is make sure that Ickens file is selected location desktop default. You're going to drag that PNG file into the box, watch your desktop, oh, cool, now you have an Aikens file. Nice, thank you, little crazy window. Now you can see CD green underscore 48 dot Aikens. You can now take that and drag it into another program called Light Icon. L-I-T-E Icon. This is made by Apple. You can download it right from Google. I Google it easiest way. Light icon. Download it. Nice little app that allows you to change your system files. I am really surprised Mac would allow this from Apple. Anyways, go to um, devices. You will see CD-R. If it's a CD, which that one is, you're going to want that set too. So take your CD green underscore 48 dot icons and drag that right over top of CD-R. Pop! It shows the little bar saying, hey, this wants to be changed. Apply changes. Type your password, which I'm not going to reveal. Hit enter. It changes, but on your desktop, as you can see, the CD that is currently in there is not changed. Click Relaunch Finder. You can then minimize and look at your desktop. Oh, ta-da! Look at that. It's been changed. Nice and pretty. It's been changed. Normally, you'd have to log off, log on, doing it the manual way. Nice. It's been changed. But let's say, hey, I don't like that. Let's change it back. Right-click this in light icon. Right-click. Restore. Brings it right back to normal. Now, I don't want to go through with that, so I'll just hit X. Good, cool. It's all there. Good, so now what I can do is delete those two. Don't need them. That's my new CD drive icon. But let's say, hey, I want a manual icon like he does. The JP Films one where I put that text in with Photoshop. You just do something like that. You can make it more snazzy. Anyways, what you do is go to Finder. Macintosh hard drive. System. Library. Core Services, right click, starts with a C, core types dot bundle, show package contents, contents, resources, expand that window, and scroll down to generic, so under the G's, generic folder icon underscore Ickens. Now you can take that, hold down your option key, and drag that onto your desktop. Drag that onto your desktop. Cool, now you have a copy. You can close out of both these windows now because you aren't going to need them again. Now that you have that copy of the Ickens file, you need to convert that to PNG to edit it. So open Terminal, um, Macintosh, Accessories, Utilities, Terminal. Type in Terminal, I'm doing this all from memory, CD space Desktop, Enter. Now you're looking at your desktop. Now you're going to type SIPS, S-I-P-S, dash S, Format. Format PNG. SIPS dash S format PNG all with spaces. And then um, after that you're gonna type the name of the, the thing you're wanting to change. So click it to select it all, control A, control C. Now you have the full name, command V. You're saying you're gonna take this and convert it to PNG and you want the space dash dash outcome outcome to be 
the same name, command V, but extension PNG. Enter. Now converts it to a PNG. If you look on your desktop, you have a PNG version. Now you can take that, open up Photoshop, and drag it on in. PNG. Here you go. Boop. There it is. Now you can edit it to your heart's content. Let's just change the hue, actually. You're going to go... Image. Adjustments. Hue slash saturation. You don't need to know any of this, but whatever. Change the hue of the folder. Ooh, the green looks pretty funky. Yes, I said funky. Uh, let's see what else we can get. Ooh, I like that. Let's go with that. Okay. Control S. Perfect. So I'll save. Close out. Close out. Close out. Close out. You look on your desktop. Now you have. Okay, so now that you have your PNG file, convert that back to Ikens. Image to Ikens, drag it on in, pop, look at your desktop, now you have a Ikens file. Now, you have a custom one, woo hoo hoo Go to light icon again. Cool, it's gonna open here. I'm gonna make all my folder icons like that, man. Folders, generic. You're gonna drag your .ikens one into generic. Pop, ooh hoo, pretty. Apply changes, make it type your password. Nice, relaunch finder. Bam! Look at that. They have not changed, as you can see, because the folder icon doesn't change until you log out and log back in. So, okay. Oh, they haven't changed, but you can see, it has changed. So, I'm going to log out, log back in, and let you see. Thanks for watching. So, yes, now, as you can see, the folder icons have successfully been changed to the red JP films. And as you can see down here, the stacks, they're all that, they're all that. Got a finder. They're the mini versions, mini versions. Every single blue folder that used to be there is now that color that was that type. So it's just like that. And then if you want to revert it, you just open light icon again and click revert or restore. So thank you for watching. Make sure to visit my website, www.jpfilms.site88.net. Thank you. Have a good day because good days are good.